Hi, it's Amber again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a book using Japanese stitch binding, which sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but the end product is really pretty. So what you need are your pages hole punched. You can have, here I have five, plus a mistake. <laughs> You can have as many or as few as you want as long as you have two. So I just find that five helps it uh, stay together a little bit better. So you want your pages hole punched and you want a ribbon or a string. The string or the ribbon should be about three times the size of the book. My, uh, I'm going to use a thicker string today because I did mess up there and I think it'll cover it up if I, if I use a thicker string. It's easier with something thinner. And my other tip is that uh, if you take, if you do use a thicker one, tape the end, tape the end to the, to make it easier to work with. It'll make it more like a needle going through the hole. So that's my other tip. So once you have your end taped, you're going to want to go to the second hole down and you're going to want to bring the, the working end through the front all the way through and then pull it out so that you have a good size string left in the front. We're going to use this later to tie a knot. So the string, your working end, you're going to want to bring over, bring over the spine and put it through that same hole again. So you can see why taping the end is a really good idea. Now, as we work, you want to make sure that your ribbon stays un folded under that it stays straight so that it looks good when you finish like so okay so now we have our first stitch done now you're going to take your working end and put it through the middle hole now again as you work make sure that the ribbon remains straight and then we're going to go over the spine again and make another loop Like so. Again, making sure everything's straight. Uh-oh, that one got twisted around, but we can easily fix that later. Okay, so. This is a very slow process with students, so take your time and help them do it. But once they get the hang of it, they'll understand. So you wanna take it now through the front making sure that the line is straight again. And then again, you want to loop it over the spine, making another stitch. And making sure that your ribbon remains straight. And that's just for aesthetic purposes. The book will still stay together whether it's tangled or not, or messy or not and then you want to take the working end and put it through the back through the back and then back into the front making sure your ribbon is straight in the back and then again loop it over the spine again So make sure you, you're pulling it tight every time because we do have to keep it tight. Now, once you get to the end, no matter how many you did, what we're going to do is we're going to put the string over the bottom like so. 
and then put the string into the bottom hole again. So we're looping it over the bottom to hold it in place here at the bottom, like so. Again, making sure that it is straight and tight. Now we're back in the front. And now we're just going to fill in all the empty line holes. Uh, holes. <laughs> line holes. All the empty spaces. So we just go in. We're not making more loops. We're just going in and we're filling in the spaces. So making sure to pull it tight every time and making sure that your, your ribbon remains tight and straight. Sorry, I'm just gonna fix this one because it'll bother me if I don't. Again, just filling in the empty spaces. Now, once we get here, you'll notice that we do not have a loop on this one. So we do need to go back through and make a loop like we did with the other holes. So we need to go make a loop and look at my holes. I didn't do a very good job, but it doesn't matter. It'll stay together. Okay. Now, just like we did at the bottom, we're gonna loop it around the top here. And put it through the first hole again. I'm serious. Taping. Taping the end really, really helps you to get them through the holes. Okay? Make sure you pull it really tight. Now, we're back here at the beginning, and we only have this one more space to fill. We're going to tie it together, but first, just to make it even tighter, what you want to do is you want to put... You're working in through this, the second loop here. So make sure your string remains tight. And then you're gonna to wanna to put pull it as tight as possible. And then make a bow. And tie it as tight as possible. Make a bow. Make it look neat. And then trim the ends. And so, if you wanted it to be stronger, you could do a double knot. Or you could just do a knot if it's gonna be a book that's gonna be used a lot. Now here, the, the trick is with these, is that you may want to go ahead and pre-fold all the pages so that they are easier to open and close, like so. But that's it, that's Japanese stitch binding. Thank you.